Good Wednesday morning. I'm forewarned meteorologist Ashley Barrissey and getting you out the door as we're tracking some changes coming off of a record warm day yesterday, hitting 75 and we'll be in the 60s today. So shy of the 70 degree territory, but still on the mild side for the first week of November. As we look at satellite and radar, that cold front that swept through bringing some steady light rain showers through the overnight well east of here. So we're drying things out, but holding on to cloud cover for southeast Michigan for now. You can see quite a bit of clearing throughout other portions of lower Michigan. So that's what's in store for the later part of today as we'll welcome back some of that sunshine. High pressure that you see off towards Kansas City. Well, that will continue to dominate our weather pattern over the next couple days as we dry out, get some sunshine. But that cooler air mass in the wake of the cold front builds in for the rest of the week. So as we take more of a regional view at temperatures, we are at 60, but almost 10 degrees cooler in Chicago and more than 20 degrees cooler. If you look off towards Des Moines reporting 39 degrees, just a degree above freezing up into Minneapolis and Duluth. So here's a look at our temperatures around town 58 in Ann Arbor, 58 in Lapeer, 59 in Monroe. So either side of 60 across the area. Bus stop forecast for today looking like we'll be right around 60 degrees or 62 come pick up time for the kids at the bus stop. And then we get in the upper 60s this afternoon as we start to thin out that cloud cover into the later part of the day. So some sunshine working its way in in the afternoon and evening. Wind gusts could peak around 20 miles per hour, but they're really not too shabby right now as we've seen improvement from yesterday. Tonight, 45 for that overnight low. This is worth noting because you see in the corner of your screen, we sit at 60 at Metro. That's a 15 degree swing downward by this time tomorrow morning. So cooler overnight, but the winds will be calming down and they'll be shifting a little bit too out of the north by tomorrow. So that brings in a little bit cooler air. Tomorrow's somewhat seasonal, 53 is average, but 59 for the afternoon high under mostly sunny skies. Tracking the tropics. So we have Hurricane Raphael right now. It's a Cat 1 hurricane that's heading towards Cuba. Cuba, moving northwest at 14 miles per hour, sustained winds at 90, and this is supposed to rapidly intensify today. Before we put the tracker on, worth noting tropical storm warnings in effect for the Florida Keys. Now that doesn't mean that the eye of the system is going to make impact, but the outer bands, the rain, the wind will have impact just to the southern tip there of Florida. Otherwise, the eye of this system is going to track more so towards the Gulf states as far as Louisiana and Texas. But this is how it pans out right now with our tropical tracker. Rapidly intensifying to a cat two hurricane in western Cuba by midday today pushes off into the Gulf moves more west than anything so it should start to lose a little bit of that momentum in fact becoming a tropical storm by the time we get into early Monday so we'll have to wait and see if this will still be considered a tropical storm if it makes landfall in Texas or Louisiana early next week or if we're just getting kind of the remnants of this when it comes to wind and rain. So we'll be updating you on Raphael over the next several days all the way through the weekend. But here your future forecast looking ahead to the weekend. We will be dry on Saturday with a high of 60 mid 60s with rain on Sunday and then sunshine and right around 60 for early next week. That's a look at your future forecast.